Here's the worst case scenario. If we lose control of climate change completely, the conditions unleashed would be so catastrophic that no organized society or country on Earth would ultimately survive, not even the United States. This isn't a dystopian fantasy. Just look at the wildfires, the heat waves, the droughts, the intensifying storms, and recognize that this is only gonna get worse for Americans. So why do our political leaders seem unwilling or unable to do what's necessary to prioritize our security at home? It's because they're fixated on authoritarian threats posed by countries like China and Russia. And they're barreling towards a new Cold War, a policy choice that will only empower politicians and corporations who thrive on the drumbeats of war. This obviously distracts from confronting climate chaos, and it hampers efforts to prevent the outcome we all fear, but it lines the pockets of a small handful with profits and campaign contributions. Those narrow political and financial interests seriously diverge from our security needs at home. Climate change poses an existential mm -hmm. threat to our lives, to our economy, and the threat is here. It's not going to get any better. The White House and the Pentagon do acknowledge the severity of the threat climate chaos poses, but President Biden doesn't always act like fighting it is the chief priority. We're in competition with China and other countries to win the 21st century. If we choose self-defeating military rivalries as the way that we want to engage the world, we'll sink our resources into a fight that only serves the financial interests of a few, at the expense of all of us. We can't afford to waste precious resources we need to mitigate the most catastrophic effects of climate change. We can't hype military threats while ignoring the existential perils staring us in the face. And we can't go to war, cold, hot, or otherwise, with countries on whose concessions and cooperation we depend on in order to fight the scourge of climate chaos. If the Biden administration believes that climate change is the existential threat, the president has to prioritize fighting it above everything else.